Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing July's BoxyCharm. I will be having the products that I had last month as a fail, which was the Il Maquillage eyeshadow palette and the Half Caked Bronzing palette. So I will be using that today in this month's BoxyCharm. And if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we will go ahead and get started. All right, so the first item that I have in my BoxyCharm is this Well Put Eye Primer. This eye primer says that it is a creamy rose infused formula that melts away on your eyelid upon blending, creating an even base for crease-free eyeshadow coverage that's more vibrant and longer lasting. So that's gonna be the first thing that I use is this eyeshadow primer. It is cute packaging, it's purple and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my eyelids here. All right, and I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush and blend out the eyeshadow primer. Very nice formula. It feels a little sticky. Hopefully it dries down here pretty quickly. The next item that I do have is the Il Milkyage Color Boss Squad. So this is the eyeshadow palette here. All right, so these are the shadows here. They did come in, they're a little cracked, but we will go ahead and use it. It's better than not having any shadows at all. It's breaking as we speak. So the first color here is 962 Lush Life. So I'm gonna use this light pink color here. I'm just gonna apply this in my crease. And I'm just taking a Luxie shader brush and I'm just gonna apply this light shade here. I'm just gonna put this in my crease here. Okay, the formula seems kind of dry, but I'm still gonna work with it here. I hope everybody is doing well. It seems like the matte shade is kind of dry, but I'll continue playing with it and seeing, you know, what happens. And I'm just going to take this chocolate shade down here and that color is Own It. So I'm going to take that shade and just apply this in the corner of my eye. And then I'm just taking a lavish eye shading brush and I'm just gonna use that for my eyeshadow here. Yeah, it just seems dry. This is my first time ever, you know, using Il Maquillage eyeshadow palette. So this is my first time using it. Now I do love their foundation. Il Maquillage, they have a really nice foundation. So Okay, so the way that I was blending it in, it makes it more choppy, but if you just pack it in, use packing motions on there, then it seems to blend in better. Wow, I've barely dipped into my eyeshadow, guys, and look. Yeah, I just wanna show you that there. Okay. So I've pretty much done, you know, my eyes with the dark brown color here. I'm pretty much finished with that part. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm going to apply this red shimmer here, this bottom red shimmer here. And that color is called No BS. So I'm sure you know what that means. So we're just gonna apply that on the front of my eyelid here and see what that does here. And I think I'm just gonna try and use my finger and see how pigmented it is. So let's see what happens. So this is the color here. Okay, this is very, very pigmented. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. It's a very pretty color. Yeah, you definitely don't need any spray.
Yeah, that's very pigmented. I like that. That's very pretty. And it looks like this is a Revenge blending brush. I got these from Amazon. These are some very affordable brushes that I have received or that I did purchase on Amazon. And I'm just blending out these edges here. And I don't think I'm going to do any lashes today. I think I'm just going to skip out on the lashes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and my concealer off camera, and then I'll be back to do the bronzer and the cream blush and the setting powder. All right, and then now we do have the Half Cake Double Dipper Duo. This one is in Miami Beach. All right, and this is what the shades look like here. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Oh, okay, I guess this is a powder. For some reason, I was thinking it was a cream. I am going to go in with the Laura Geller Made to Multitask Eye Lip Cheek Palette Think Pink. Okay, so this is the blush palette that I received, and I'm going to be using that on my face here. All right, so these are the shades here. I'm going to be using these shades here upon my cheeks, and these are supposed to be cream to powder. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, so I'm just going to take this little brush here. This was from BoxyCharm, so I'm just going to take this brush here and really dip into it. So that's what it looks like on the brush. I don't even know if you can see that, but so let's see what happens. Okay, it's very pigmented. You see that? Look at that. And this is supposed to be powder. So it's supposed to be the cream to powder. And I think I put too much on. But it's a very pretty color. I like that. Okay, as you blend it, it's like blending in with your, you know, makeup. So as you blend it, it's blending in itself. But that's the color there. I'm gonna dip into the next color too and see what happens, if it tones it down some. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna do the next side. I'm just gonna mix them together. Very, very pretty. I'm just building it up to match this side. This one's all red, nice and red. Now I am gonna go over with my foundation brush here in just a moment, and I'm gonna blend that out just a little bit, but I really want you guys to see that color. It's very, very pretty. Seems like this side is showing up more than this side. Of course, I really didn't mix it like that on this side at first. But very, very pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my foundation brush, which is my Elf Ultimate Blending Brush, and I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit because it is kind of red. Tone it down some. Now, I don't really, I guess maybe blending it down, it shows more of a powder-like finish, but I don't really see the powder finish unless I'm missing something here, but we'll see. Okay, so there's that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So they did give me a setting powder. So this is the setting powder here. It looks like it's the Danessa evolution powder um it is yellow so i will be trying this on here in just a moment and set my face here with it so this powder is supposed to be priming smoothing and your setting face powder and this is what it looks like here nice and yellow now it does have this little top here and then there's this little tape i'm just going to peel this off here Okay, so 
looks like there's plenty of product right there. I am just going to take my regular blending brush here, the one that I use under my eyes. It's very fine. And I'm gonna set my under eyes. So of course, Okay, so that one's set. The color looks perfect, actually. We'll see how it plays out. But like, you can dip it into here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can just like dip into here. And it's very, very fine. See that? Looks like it's smoking. All right, so I'm just gonna blend the next under eye here. I really do like the color of this powder because it like blends in my skin perfectly. All right, so I'm going to set the rest of my face. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ultimate, what is this? My powder brush, this is from e.l.f. as well. I'm gonna take my powder brush and dip into here. It is so fine. I like this. All right, I'm just gonna dip into here. And it has like little holes in there. So like, I guess you just, it's like a mesh in here. So you can just, you know, dip into it and it comes out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. It's very, very fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like this. All right, so that's on. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with that um, half caked double dipper bronzer. I'm gonna apply it. And I may even go in with the next one as well, just to, you know, just to apply it and see. So again, I'm just gonna take this right here and this one is in the shade. Well, this is Miami Beach. So I'm just gonna put this on, tap off the excess, Bring a little bit of color back to the face. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. And I'm going to take the next one as well. I said I'm gonna do it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. All right, so this is JX the bronzer. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna apply it on my face. I'm just gonna be one bronzed up person today. I'm trying to make up for that last time. Um, so this is the color here. As you can see, it goes from light to dark. So those are the colors there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, being that it's not that dark. May as well just apply it on there. The smell. If you were to smell, I don't know if it's just me, but it smells like feet. <laughs> yeah, no joke. But it applies well. So it went on really nice. All right, so there's that. And then, so I'm looking to see if that blush is still peeking through. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take that same brush that I used for my blush, and I'm just gonna go on top of it just a hair and just bring a little bit of it back to see. I didn't apply any more product on there. I'm just using the product that's left on here. So it is showing again. That's good. That's really nice. Okay, I like that. All right, so there's that. And then I am gonna go ahead and apply, I think I'm gonna take that red color, or actually no, let me see. All right, so I think I'm gonna take this brown and this, I think I'm gonna take this, uh, move this down. I think I'm gonna take this brown and this red color. So I'm gonna take Own It and No BS, 
And I'm just gonna mix it on my lower lash line. Besides it being dry, the colors are very pretty. But I do have to say this um, eyeshadow palette is a dry formula. So I must say that, but it's it, the colors are pretty. I like the colors, but yeah, it is a dry formula. So I'm gonna just take this light peachy gold type of color. This one is keep rolling. I'm gonna take this color here and just pop that on my inner corner of my eye. Okay, definitely more payoff whenever you, you know, of course spray your brush, but it's still, it's more like a shimmer. Like it's just subtle. It's more subtle. It just, it's not popping that much, so, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and do my lips off camera. And then we'll be back and I'll be able to tell you my final thoughts on this July BoxyCharm. All right, guys, so this completes the look. This completes July's BoxyCharm review. So I'm gonna give you just a little rundown of the products and I really like them. Um, the eyeshadow, I must say, it is a little dry, the Il Maquillage palette it is a little dry but the overall finish on the eyes it looks beautiful so i really do like it i mean if you can you know power through just blending a little bit longer then you're gonna have a pretty good look um, but yeah the colors are really pretty um it's just a little dry but i mean it's nothing that i cannot work with so yeah i do like this i do love the colors i do like how it turns out um as far as the bronzers go so we did have the half cake bronzer. Let me find it. You know what? While I'm here, because I forgot to do this. Um, but yeah, in this half caked bronzer, let me just take this highlight here and just highlight my cheeks real quick with it. Because I forgot to do that step. So I'm just going to take this, tap off the excess, and apply the highlight. Okay, so this is kind of subtle too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spray my brush. When in doubt, spray your brush. If it's not popping the way you want it to pop, spray your brush. So we're just gonna spray it real quick and just apply it. And now you can see it. As you can see, it's popping more now. So that is very pretty. I really like it. It's not over the top or anything like that. It's just, it's subtle, but you can still see it. So very pretty. All right, so I'm gonna do the next side. You just see that there is so pretty. I like that. Very, very pretty. I'm putting mine above my cheekbones a little bit higher because I do have some texture a little bit. So I'm just going to go a little bit higher. That way it doesn't, you know, show off the texture too much. But it is a very pretty color, as you can see. Very, very pretty. And then as you know, I like to just, you know, take it above my eyelid near my brow bone. And there's that. So yeah, um, I do recommend this half cake uh, bronzer palette. Very nice, very pretty. So those are, and the color, the bronzing color is very perfect. I like it, I like the bronzing color. The bronzing color is perfect. Yeah, the perfect shade of brown. So that is, that's just perfect color for my twinsies. And then as far as the JX bronzer, this one's pretty too, because this one, it goes from light to dark. So this one's really nice as well. So of course I would be using the dark, but if you wanted to, you could even use the lighter color for eyeshadow. You know, if you wanted it to be like a transition shade in your crease, you could do that as well. So I do like this as well. Uh, this Laura Geller, or Geller, Laura Geller Blush Quad. This one's pretty as well. It's very pigmented. Um, it's very, very pigmented because even for me to put on the foundation and then put on the blush and then put on the powder bronzer and then go back in with nothing but leftover product on the brush for it to still show through, this is some powerful stuff right here. I really like it. It's a beautiful color story as well. So I do recommend this as well. And then as far as this banana powder, the evolution powder, I like this. It's like the perfect color on my skin tone. I like it, very, very pretty. So 
Yes, I really, really like these products here. I must say this is a good BoxyCharm for July. Again, you guys should, you know, get the BoxyCharm. If you can, you know, if you can afford it, if it's in your budget and everything, get it. That's why I like it because you get to try out new makeup and everything and you get to sample the products and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this, this month was really good. And then I did get the Wake Up Call. It's a solution overnight for regenerative facial treatment. Um, this has retinol and avocado oil in it. This is the Gold Fadden MD Problem Dry and Aging Skin. So this is like a cleanser. Um, so I did get this in here as well. So I will be using this in my skincare routine and keep you updated with that. Um, but overall, that is it guys. Um, so I will have more content loading. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.